Welcome to another 10-minute tip brought to you by the Olson Group. I want you to take a look at the slide, the name of this show, the quote, Econo Me. We're going to make it personal today. Now, I must tell you, I'd like to say that I invented that word. I think it's a word now. We're going to make it a word. But I didn't. I was watching a football game, and Northwestern Mutual had a wonderful ad. I don't even think there was any voiceover but it just stated how long they'd been around, their dividends, their guaranteed cash value, life insurance, annuities, investments. And then scrolling across the screen, I saw this word, the economy. They didn't say anything about it, but it really struck me that it is my economy. So as the next slide says, let's make it personal. Today, a person could be scared, scared to death when talking about the economy, the MY. And with good reason. We have extremely high unemployment. We have some people that may not get a job. We have new people getting out of college that can't find their first job. Even though interest rates are at a very low level, the lowest that they've been, I think, since World War II, a lot of people don't have the credit scores to get the job or they're just unsure of their employment. But the fact of the matter is they still have to take care of business. Their business, my business, your business. So today, what I'm going to suggest as we're going through this, that if you take some of these tidbits and apply these to your next conversation that you have with your prospect and client because we are going to make it personal. As I've said before, it will be tough for people not to be a little nervous because every night on the news shows, local or national, the Wall Street Journal, your local paper, the USA Today, and now of course we have the politicians out there beating each other over a head, pointing fingers, blaming each other, and I'm not sure anyone has a good answer or solution. But it is personal, isn't it? we think about how it affects us. And then when we find someone that we know that is laid off, has lost their job, or can't get the loan, or their home is foreclosed upon, boy, all of a sudden we get a little nervous and we tend to go into a hole and not do anything. We're just fearful of making a mistake. But what we have to do is make it personal because it is your client's economy. The first thing we have to do, as the sign says, as the PowerPoint says, we have to find out what concerns them about their economy. Is their big concern their essential income? Are they pre-retirees or are they already in retirement? Are they worried about a chronic illness, a long-term care expense? Are they worried about their children? Are they worried about their parents? Are they part of a sandwich generation? All of these worries, all of these concerns, I'm sorry, we can be the most wonderful people in the world, but you know, it usually takes some money to take care of these concerns. So let's really drill down and forget about what the world's concerns are. Let's deal into their economy and find out what concerns them the most, and then we'll drill down. If you'll take a look at these five different retirement personalities, and this is from an Allianz study, I think you're gonna find them very interesting. And excuse me for reading these, but I think it's very important. So please follow along. Five retirement personalities. When working with people who are nearing retirement age, you may bump up against these five personalities. Overwhelmed, 32% are in quote survival mode, end quote, and feel unprepared for retirement. Resilient, 27% have a, quote, take charge attitude, but are worried about outliving their income. Iconic, 20% feel prepared and confident their income will last through retirement. Savvy, 14% are either living comfortably in retirement or will retire comfortably or distracted. 7% have seen their net worth drop significantly, but haven't changed their course. Take a look at this, again from the Reclaiming Your Future study done by Allianz. 61% of Americans 
ages 44 to 75 said they were more afraid of outliving their assets than they were of dying. That number rose to 82% for those in their late 40s with children. We can't ignore this 45 to 80 year old market. We focus so much on that 65 year old, but that 45 year old, this is the first time they've been shellacked like this in the market. They haven't seen these kind of problems. Oh yes, they were still working and had a family when we had some other drops, but for the most part, they didn't have any money. They were just trying to pay their way, get some kids ready for school and do all of those things you do, buy a new home, get a new car, all those things. But now it's hitting everybody in the face. 61% more afraid about living their assets than dying and then that number increases to 82% for those in their late 40s with children. Think that brings up a need for life insurance? It does in their economy. Since it's your economy, you are personally responsible, Mr. Prospect, Mr. Client. We're going to talk about all of your challenges in your economy, but I can't fix those things as an advisor. I can give you the tools, but you're going to have to get off the bench. You're going to have to get in the game. I know the competition is tough. If the clouds are looking dark and it might rain again, but like Annie said, or it says in Annie, the sun will come out tomorrow. Just make sure your clients are prepared because it is their economy. Another interesting statistic, 92% of Americans age 44 to 75 think that there is a retirement crisis. So we're not having to sell that. There's no need to beat them over the head about that. They know what it is. No need for fear mongering. Let's just have adult conversations meaningful, frank, candid conversations about their economy. So if retirement income is a concern in your client's economy, ask them, what's your number? What are you going to need? Or maybe you want to ask them this other question or two questions. How much do you need and when do you need it? The economy, a nice word, which I would have invented the word. Thanks, Northwestern Mutual, for making me think about it and putting together this 10-minute tip. And before I leave, we've been talking about your client's economy. What about you, the advisor, the producer? What about your economy? Are you taking advantage of this marketplace? This is the biggest opportunity I've ever seen in my 30-some years in the business. Hey, thanks so much for watching today. I hope you found this of interest and you can take these tips and improve your practice. But until next time... Good selling.